According to The Sun, Josie Gibson is allegedly in early negotiations to pay £100,000 to enter the IMA celebrity jungle. The 38-year-old This Morning anchor, who replaced Philip Schofield after his scandalous affair, seemed to be a fan favorite when she debuted on the IDV program. Producers of I May Celeb have started talks with Josie's representatives in an effort to entice her with a £100,000 deal. The talks are advanced, according to a source. According to The Insider, Josie has always been an admirer of the IDV series and is now motivated to advance further in her TV career. They claim that the stint could launch her into the mainstream and land her bigger gigs. Any names given for I May Celebrity? An IMA celebrity spokesman informed Mail in Line, Get me out of here are only conjecture. Josie Gibson's agents have been approached by Mail in Line for comment. Josie gained notoriety after winning Big Brother in 2010 and is the front runner to succeed Philip Schofield, who is now embroiled in a contentious relationship with a This Morning co worker. Josie's mother recently shared an exclusive interview with Mail in Line in which she described her daughter as the ideal replacement for Philip Schofield on this morning due to her natural and caring personality. After the Under Fire presenter spoke about her disagreement with Philip during a speech on Monday's episode, the former Big Brother winner backed Holly Willoughby by giving her co-star a hug. The fan favorite from Bristol is now expected to play a bigger part in the Scandal hit series, which has been dogged by rumors of a turbo working environment. Mandy, Josie's mother, claims that her daughter is innately warm and kind, giving viewers little question about the sincerity of Josie's support for Holly. She also claims that her traveler background, where she spent eight weeks each summer traveling around the countryside in a horse-drawn caravan, helped shape her values. That's where she received her principles, Mandy said, since it taught her to respect and care for others, she hugged Holly Willoughby with a sincere, heartfelt embrace when you watched it on television. For months, whenever the family would travel in the vividly painted trailer, Josie would be without power, gas, or running water. They would travel a circuit on rural roads, according to her mother, and they would never know when they would return. She claimed, we are old-fashioned people, that's how we live. We'd be gone for eight weeks at a time. You don't waste time, water, or electricity when you live in a van. We are simple people who have simple lives. We have always had horses, traps, and carriages. Although it's completely different from the life she currently leads, I'm grateful she got the chance to experience living in a caravan as a little child. You can be very pleased, she continues, if you bring a child into the world and people love and admire here. Stepfather of Manny, Josie, and on Wednesday, Alan will be traveling to the Appleby Horse Fair in Cumbria, a yearly meeting of gypsies and nomads. At their cottage near Yate, Bristol, where Josie was raised, the pair raises and sells horses, particularly cobs. Mandy claims that Holly deserves to share the couch with her because she enjoys watching Josie on TV every morning. When she was organizing, she discovered a small schoolbook belonging to Josie in which she had written, I'm going to be on TV when I grow up. She's always been nice, full of glitter, and willing to assist everyone, so I believe she's gotten where she is via hard work and being naturally good to people. Although what occurred on this morning is dreadful, we haven't brought it up with her since it is her personal matter. The most important aspect of life, according to Josie, is respect for others. She has advanced in life as a result of doing it. Josie attended Brimsham Green Comprehensive after attending North Road Community Primary School in Yate, where her mother said that she was a clever student. She worked as a part-time burger flipper at the Yate train station, where Mandy referred to her as a good worker who never stops. There's a huge town out there where Josie has gotten a lot of support, she explains. Her friends and neighbors in the friendly village of Yate are immensely proud of her. Mandy claimed that they frequently see Josie when she comes over with her beautiful kid Reggie, four, who is the product of her relationship with her ex-boyfriend Terry. They are no longer a couple. The family's shining Romani-style caravan is still visible in front of Josie's parents' home and place of business in the countryside. Mandy is widely renowned for raising ponies, and her stepdad delivers horse-drawn coal around the neighborhood. 
Josie hasn't seen the results yet, but she recently returned from Turkey where she had her front teeth replaced. Josie said in an interview with OK Magazine that she was a buffer gypsy term for a non-traveler who lives on the grid, owns a home, and sends their kids to school after she won Big Brother in 2010. I'm a buffer, actually, because I grew up in a house and not a trailer, the woman claimed. However, there were constantly caravans, horses, and carts around us. It was never boring. Josie's reputation as a rising star at this morning sharply contrasts with her life after Big Brother, when she found it difficult to maintain a TV job. She said that she had been passed over for 72 jobs. I think because of the Big Brother thing, it held me back a little bit, she claims. And I mean nobody wanted to know. I tried for more than two years and genuinely put myself out there. Nobody is aware of this, but I succeeded at TV presenting because I never gave up. I had a list of persons I had approached for employment, and I tried more than 72 of them.